Hello. Let me ask you a question. Are you thriving or flourishing in your life? How would you know if you are? Let me introduce to you a checklist, if I may, to help us think about what we need to do to flourish and as a result, have a happier life. The concept is the PERMA model. It was developed by Martin Seligman, the founder of Positive Psychology, and it was written in his uh, widely published and influential book, Flourish. PERMA stands for the five elements that we should have in place for us to experience lasting well-being. The first one on your checklist, positive emotion. For us to experience well-being, we need positive emotions in our lives. Any positive emotions such as peace, gratitude, satisfaction, pleasure, joy, ecstasy, or love falls within this category. How much positive emotion is in your day? What's the ratio between positive and negative emotions? The scale should tip up to the positive if you want well-being. This is something you can create. Two, engagement. Engagement has nothing to do with diamond rings and wedding proposals. What it is, is when we are in a situation, task or activity, where we are fully engrossed in, we experience this state called flow. If you're in it, time seems to stop and fly at the same time because we lose our sense of self because we concentrate intensely in what we're doing. This feels really good. The more we experience this type of engagement, the more likely we are to experience well-being. Three, positive relationship. We are social beings and good relationships are important for a thriving life. Family, friends, work colleagues, teammates, Time and again, we see that people who have meaningful, positive relationships with others are happier than those who do not. Relationships do matter. Fourth on your checklist, meaning or purpose. Meaning or purpose comes from serving a cause bigger than ourselves. Whether it is a belief of a supreme being or creator or the, the belief that a course we do will help humanity in some way all add up to the idea of having meaning and purpose in our lives. This also helps us to flourish. Last one, fifth, accomplishment or achievement. Many of us strive to better ourselves in one way or another. Whether we are seeking to master something, a skill, or we are wanting to achieve a valuable goal or we want to win in a competitive event. Accomplishment or achievement is another important factor that contributes to our ability to flourish. So that's the five elements you need to tick off to see whether your life is thriving or flourishing. Think about where you are right now. Here's the thing, you can create all five of them. They don't have to be connected. They can be independent, but the more you can put in your life, you are well on your way of a life that is most well deserved and planned. See how you go. If you need to know more about these, please do not hesitate to make contact. I would love to share more with you. Bye.